thank God oh, that he has given us today. And I thank God so much for the word that he has for us today. It's a psalm that even the fellow who does not go to church will say it. Even the fellow who is not a Christian in any way will say the verse. And that's Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That's all. So many people will say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It doesn't matter. But today we are going to look at it in the context of the word that God is sending to somebody today. Is God your shepherd? That's the first thing. Are you the sheep of God? Because God is a shepherd, not good keeper. Are you a good? God is a shepherd, not a lion keeper. Are you a lion? God is a shepherd, not an elephant keeper. Are you an elephant? God is a shepherd, not a snake tender. Are you a snake? Whatever else you are outside of sheep, God is not your shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd if I am his sheep. Are you his sheep? If you are sheep, yes, the Lord is your shepherd. And what I am going to talk about now refers to you. If you are outside of the fold of a sheep, because it says, my sheep hear my voice, and they will not follow another, they will follow me, and I take care of them. The Lord is my shepherd. Yes, he is the shepherd to his own sheep. And there is something about God being your shepherd, which is the message of today. Any shepherd is found in the midst of a sheep. What does it mean? They are in his presence. He takes care of them because they are within his vicinity. They are with him where he is. You cannot be my sheep and you are a million miles away. And there is no communication between me and you. And you say you are my sheep. If you are the sheep of the Lord, you are within his vicinity. You are within the area of his embrace, as it were. He can hold on to you at any time. He can touch you at any time. And you touch him and hold on to him. That's the shepherd and his sheep. So if the Lord is your shepherd, you are within his own vicinity. And you know what the scripture says? In the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. That explains the last part of that verse. I shall not want. It does not say I shall not need. Because you think that wants are outrageous. Needs are essential things. Now, the person who has gone beyond the level of wanting anything, what about needs? All of them are taken care of. Because... In the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. Are you in the presence of God? Are you within the area of his embrace? Do you live such a life that you are in the vicinity of God at all times? Some of us take the vicinity of God as choices. I can decide to be there today. Tomorrow I'm not there. You know that story about when I was very spiritual. Don't worry. When I get very spiritual, I know what I will find. I, what are you talking about? You are in, in and out of the presence of God. You are just like Satan who goes in and out. But the real person is perpetually within the presence of God. There, there is fullness of joy. You cannot want anything. For those who love their God, he said they will lack nothing. Why are you still lacking? So many of us, virtually all of us, are in the business of lack. In the business of looking for this and looking for that and looking. I, when I talk about lack, I'm not just talking about only financial lack or material lack. Spiritual lack is even worse than the rest. Not to talk of emotional lack and so many other things in life that we are lacking. And we are wanting, we are even needing and they are not there. You know what that would prove to me? I am not yet in the presence of God. I have not fully become the sheep of God because when I become the sheep of God, I am with him. In his presence, there is fullness of joy, no lack. The presence of God does not make room for lack. If you are a sheep, there is no lack in your life. So instead of praying, Lord, do this, do this, do this. No, let me look for how to become truly the sheep of God. The one that is obedient to him at all times, that is what the sheep does with the shepherd. The sheep follows the shepherd in all things. I learn to follow God in all things. The sheep goes where the shepherd goes. I learn to go where God goes. I'll do what God does. I do what he expects of me. I sleep when he expects me to sleep. I wake up when he expects me to wake up. 
I go in the direction where he gives me food at the time that he wants to give me the food. I go in the direction of water when he wants to give me water. I learn to be God's sheep. And I will want nothing. I will lack nothing. For in his presence there is fullness of joy. Father, your sheep, you take care of them. Every sheep that has gone astray, Lord, I pray that there be a returning now. And every ship that is returned shall be brought back into the fold. Open our ears that we can hear you. Open our eyes that we can see you and follow you. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.